Welcome back to the Sal Patera channel and we are at Disney's Animal Kingdom bringing you a 360 degree tour. Now if you don't know what that means you can literally take your device if you're on a mobile phone and move it around and you can literally see all the way around or if you're on a device that doesn't let you do that you should be able to just drag your finger along the screen and follow the tour and you can look 360 degrees. Once again, as I always say, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that little bell notification and that'll let you know every time we upload new videos, whether they be 360 or just regular videos. So I'm gonna start by turning the camera around and we are just inside the main entrance to the park and that is probably the biggest attraction Absolutely remarkable. Inside the base of the Tree of Life, there is actually a show called A Bug's Life. Um, and it's a 4D, I would say 4D show. By the way, I'm Sal and this is the beautiful Debbie, my wife. We're gonna get a nice up close picture of the Tree of Life. I don't know if you can hear that, but go ahead, I'm not even sure what my wife's talking about. They're in their natural habitat. <laughs> Better watch out, they're going to pay attention to us. Well, if you look forward, you'll see that there's actually a gentleman in there oh, yeah. feeding some animals. Feeding some animals? Feeding. Feeding some animals. Feeding. So this time it was actually appropriate. So it was kind of an inside joke. That's why we thought we'd explain it. <laughs> so for okay, this tour, oh, check out the coolest bird in the park. If you're seeing me right now, just rotate your phone or rotate your experience. So anyway, before the uh, the bird took over, <laughs> we are going to walk through the park because we actually have pa fast pass tickets to see the Lion King in about uh, 45 minutes. Now it seems like there's a lot of people here and that's because there's a lot of people here. <laughs> It is pretty crowded today. It is a Sunday that we're here. But I'll tell you, even for being as crowded as the park is, it really doesn't feel that way when you're in the animal habitats and the habitat, the animal experiences. You don't really feel the crowdedness that the park really is. It's actually very peaceful. For, let's face it, it's a real elaborate zoo. Yeah. Um, where the animals aren't really caged up, especially on the safari ride. Disney does an absolutely wonderful job of making you feel like you're really here. When you're in Africa, you actually feel like you could be on the African tundra looking at animals. When you're in uh, the Asia part, you actually feel like you might be in Asia. When you're in the dinosaur exhibit, well, we all know <laughs> there's no dinosaurs, so I can't really say that uh, applies. Now we ate earlier today at the buffet inside of the safari land, which is what we're about, or the Africa land, which is what we're about to enter. And I gotta tell you, it's one of the best meals I've had in a long time, especially for being a buffet. The food did not taste like buffet quality food. 
Um, it was seasoned right. It was piping hot. Now, it was also $50 a person for an adult for lunch. Uh, dinner is probably even more expensive. And for kids 10 and under, I believe it was 32. Correct. And now, if you've watched my videos, you know I've had gastric bypass surgery. And I will say this, they were nice enough, because I don't eat a lot, to charge me the kids' prices. So we didn't pay quite the $50 per person, but the meal was definitely worth it. Even if they would have charged me the $50, I, I think the meal would have been very well worth it. So this is it. You can probably hear the drums. We are headed over to the African Safari. Now one thing I'm not impressed with is Disney now sell these guns that blow bubbles and they're all over the park and the bubbles are constantly getting in your way and in your face. Yeah, kind of like a wand, but I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it's irritating every time you look you're getting bubbles in your face. Now this is really neat. We've been back here about three times today. And every time we're here, there's some kind of different entertainment here in the middle of the African adventure. They just wrapped everything up. But it looks like they just wrapped it up. We might not get to see any of it. This is the Tusker House restaurant. That is the buffet we ate that we ate at earlier. But at this stage, there was lots of great buffet, or lots of great music, rather. And if you watch my other video that I'm putting up today on the safari, um, oh well, I don't know if I'm putting it up today, but when I put it up, it's actually going to show some of the entertainment they had here. And all day the entertainment was absolutely fantastic. It does look like they possibly wrapped it up for the evening. You want to walk along Gorilla Falls? Well, doesn't matter where I walk. Let's take the camera back to Gorilla Falls. It's a walkthrough. It's got some animals. And we'll give you an idea of what some of the walkthroughs are like here at the Animal Kingdom at Walt Disney World, Florida. Now the one thing you have to just kind of get used to here at Disney is that you will hear kids screaming all day long. You will hear parents threatening to beat their kids. <laughs> and all kinds of uh, odd behavior. I will say this, the people we heard threatening to beat their kids here in, right in public in the middle of everybody uh, were not from the United States, so I don't know what culture they're from, but I don't know. It was definitely a little odd. Now while we were here, we also made a full video of the, what show was it? The Nemo's Adventure Show, and we'll be putting that Finding up. Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo, excuse me. <laughs> the live show. Which I gotta tell you. It was really quite impressive. <laughs> I did get Disney's permission in advance to film it when we were at uh, Epcot Center yesterday at Guest Services. So I will be putting that on at line as well. Okay, so this is the Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail. It is a walkthrough, so there's usually no line for it. And I'll try and turn the camera so it faces some of the things there is to see as we walk through. Again, this is a 360 degree video, so if you haven't figured it out by now, 
which I imagine you have, you can just rotate your phone or device and it should rotate the view 360 degrees so you can see all the way around. Or in most devices, you can just drag your finger along the screen and that will reposition the camera so you can see all the way around as well. We got a sneezing hyena in front of us. <laughs> if you haven't heard, there's somebody sneezing non-stop. Now, if you look around through the video, you can see the wild human population just <laughs> walking in herds. It doesn't usually happen this way. It's very exciting. <laughs> and this is what I was referring to. <laughs> we went this way last time. That way was just a, up the hill and down back way over here. We've got a rare human sighting right in front of us wearing a backpack. <laughs> And a red outfit. I think she spotted us. <laughs> Be very quiet. Oh, there she is. She sees us. Shh. <laughs> yeah, it does get a little dark indoors with the GoPro, so we're gonna go straight through this habitat. Except for one really, really fat frog. We're going to go straight through. Lots and lots of fish in this tank. Lots of birds in these little nests in the trees. Thank you. Now this is really neat. We noticed this earlier. These are all drawings by children that were made here for the animal kingdom. I think this one here was my favorite. 
And this one here was Debbie's favorite. I believe it said they were all 12 year old. All 12 year old. Again, I think we'll just walk right through this habitat because it's usually pretty dark. That is the hippo tank. We also took lots of pictures while we're here, so I will create a, a photo montage of our pictures and post that to YouTube as well here in the near future. If they're not already by the time this 360 video goes up. Maybe getting a little drink. These are the meerkats, right? Aren't those what these are called, meerkats? Aren't they in the uh, Lion King, these guys? it's pretty crowded here today it's funny because all the recommendations we got were to get here early in the morning because that's when the animals are most active and we've actually found today to be exactly the opposite case this morning they were all asleep and now that it's afternoon and it's not as quite as hot as it was this morning they seem to be much more active than they were this morning
So the reason why we're making videos here at Animal Kingdom, I should have explained it at the beginning, is we just got off of the Carnival Sunshine for an eight-day cruise, which we made lots of video to share with you. But we spent three days extra here in Florida so we could come to Disney World and visit a couple parks and make some videos. And the reason we did that is because lots of folks who travel on board Disney Cruise Lines will take a few days before or a few days after and come here to Disney World. So we wanted to give you some videos on what you can expect of the different parks if you choose to do that and spend a little time here in Disney World before or after your cruise. Florida if you don't know, I think most people probably do. So if you're cruising on Disney Cruise Lines or any other cruise lines where you plan on coming here, you're going to want to come to fly into Orlando and the cruise port would be Port Canaveral which is about an hour away but this is the closest city major airport to the cruise port looks like cleaning time so I don't think there's gonna be any animals in there so we can move on And as you can see, as you go through these, there are some busy areas like the grill area, but as you're walking through, it really doesn't seem quite as busy as it does on the outside. As you're walking through, there are lots of quiet time and lots of areas where you just don't feel crowded with people as we separate from the wife. We'll head through this little cave. Now I think the highlight of our experience here today was probably the safari, which I do have um, on camera the entire safari. Now, like I said, I'll be posting that sometime around the same time as this video. So keep an eye out for that. But when you come here, that's definitely something I recommend. Go to the fast pass system. I believe everybody gets three fast pass per day where you can get on lines faster. But I recommend as soon as you come into the park, get a fast pass for if you're coming to Animal Kingdom, for the safari ride. Yeah. Um, it is definitely the highlight of the of the adventure here. And they did have a VIP experience you could pay for if you wanted to. And it would get you a little bit closer, but it wasn't really that much difference in my opinion. I would agree. I don't know how much the experience was for the VIP experience, but I would agree with that completely. So anyway, hopefully that gives you a little bit of idea of what it's like here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Thank you guys for watching. We do appreciate it. Again, if you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button down below. Click that little bell notification. And we'll see you on your next adventure.